food is the ingredient that brings us together. Hello everyone, today we're going to be going to uh, Happy Lemon in Richmond. They make uh, bubble teas as well as waffle. So we get to try some of their bubble teas and see what they have. They also have some uh, daily specials every day of the week. Uh, so uh, we have uh, some details here on the board. Take a look. So on Mondays they got roasted milk tea, Tuesday pearl milk tea, Wednesday jasmine green tea, Thursday milk with Oreo, uh, Friday roasted milk tea, Saturday honey green tea, and Sunday pearl milk tea. So uh, today is Saturday, we're going to try uh, their uh, honey milk tea. Let's go inside and see how they make these drinks. So inside they got this uh, machine as well as they make some uh, waffles. There's a great little uh, store with uh, lots of seating areas here too. So you can bring your laptop, study, work, as well as enjoy some great uh, drinks. So here's some more detailed menu of what they carry. And they got some uh, top 10 menu as well of what are their uh, top 10 famous drinks. So these are their locations uh, around the world. They're in San Francisco, Los Angeles, Boston, New York, uh, London, as well as Hong Kong, Taipei, South Korea, Bangkok. Shanghai and also uh, Manila, so it's great there. Oh. Here, back here with May, and she's going to be making us a drink. Which drink is it again? Honey green tea. Honey green tea. So let's look at the process of how this drink is made. Awesome, this is really quick. Thank you very much, May. I like the drink, it's, it's uh, really refreshing. Just basically tea, um, lemon, and honey. Uh, for summer, I think it's a, it's a great drink. Um, there's nothing else. Um, the, the only thing is that the tea uh, flavor itself is a little strong, but I enjoy tea, so I don't mind it. But for those who maybe don't drink uh, tea too often, for them it will be a little bit stronger. But beside that, I think it's a much uh, better and refreshing drink in comparison to for example a soda or a pop so i highly recommend it uh, the total was i believe a little bit over five dollar but uh, during their happy hours it's at 3.99 so you basically uh save a dollar thank you very much and we'll see you guys uh, in hello everyone so we're uh here today at the uh, gulbar pakistani and indian cuisine and we're gonna try some of their dishes and see uh what they have hopefully we can uh, get to see how the food is made and here's their special for today which is a lunch tolly it includes one meat one veggie rice naan salad and raita for $7.95 maybe we'll uh, get to try that so stay tuned as we go inside and uh, order some food the restaurant is really spacious they have a lot of uh, room inside for uh, seating area and uh, as well they do catering too so if you wanted to uh, order uh, for large uh, events or parties, they uh, cater for your events also. We're here at the back of the house with Sister Charanjit. She's going to uh, show us how to make the nans. She's already prepared some at the back here and she's going to be putting them in the clay oven and baking them one at a time.
It's like an appetizer um, before you start your meal, of course. And it's like, it's called pakoras, and it's like veggies, like onions, and like spinach uh, fried and oil. And then we have um, imli chutney. It's like um, a sweet sauce, which you dip it into, which is very popular to have together. And this one here is a dessert, it's a matai, called batisa. And it's um, very famous, and it has like a soft, uh, like it melts in your mouth. It's very um, flaky, and it has like some nuts in it, and it's made with like nut flour. And yeah, it's very popular. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. As you mentioned, these are uh, pakoras, which is basically corn fritters. They're made with uh, potato, spinach, and then some spices like coriander, cumin, salt, and pepper. So we'll just try uh, a piece, and then uh, this is the sauce, which is uh, palm sauce. So it's kind of like uh, sweet and sour. Mmm, it's really good. Uh, it's crispy, but at the same time, it's not salty, and the spices are just right. And here we have their tali special. Uh, we have the chickpea, uh, as well as chicken. Raita is just basically like a yogurt dressing, or you can call it a chutney, salad and rice. So we're just gonna try a little bit of the uh, chickpeas. Chickpea is actually really good. It's a little bit on the spicy side, but it's not too much. Like I, I enjoy spicy, so for me it's not too much. It's just right, and it's really like creamy too. So it's really good. It's like the chicken curry. Mm -hmm. This one I think they're saying like achar chicken. So it has a little bit of kind of like um, has a little bit of like um, sourish flavor, but it's just really good. I like it. And let's try the right that. The right that is kind of like minty, yogurt, a little bit spicy, so maybe they might have salt and pepper, a little bit of spices in there. And then as most of you might know, it's just better chicken. Uh, so chicken with uh, kind of like butter sauce. So we got some fresh bread here as well. Bread is really fresh, they just made it and then they put uh, a coat of butter on top of it. Really good. Really, really good. Here, it's like rice pudding and it's like the probably most famous dessert. Like every Pakistani will know what it is. And yeah, this one is very, very popular. Thank you. So we got for dessert uh, some masala tea. Gonna add a little bit of sugar to it as well because it comes without sugar. And then beside the masala tea, we got some kheer, which is basically uh, rice pudding. So, try a little bit of the rice pudding too. It's really milky. I think it has a little bit of rose water. Um, the rice is actually um, a little greeny, but it's actually really, really flavorful and extremely delicious. You can taste the milk. You can taste a little bit of that rose water. I could just basically sit here and keep eating this. Extremely good. The uh, products that you currently you guys are selling. In yeah, the we sell them in the store. So basically, people would come to the restaurant and be like, "Oh, can I get a uh, a beef nahari? But can I just get it frozen?" Mm. And then we'd be like, "Yeah." So okay. people would just want our food, but they want it frozen because they want to, you know, eat it later, like the day after. So we're like, "Why don't Why don't we just sell it ourselves, right?" Great it's easier, idea. like yeah, going to the grocery shop and just picking it up and you know making your trip here. Where are they so. currently sold? Currently they're sold at like Takwa, Al Salam, Zubia, all your local halal stores right now, but soon we'll be getting into like Freshco and more places like that. Um, we're also in the uh, Fairway, it's at the market in um, Victoria. Wow. So yeah, recently we've been That's going awesome. there and doing demos, but we're in like about five locations there as well. Awesome. That's great to hear. Yeah. And uh, do you just basically take them up, put them in a pot to heat up, or can you heat them up in a microwave? You can heat them in up, uh, the, you can just throw the whole bag into the microwave because they're BPA approved. Okay. So you can, yeah, just for a couple minutes, like seven, five, seven minutes, yeah. and then the chicken's in them, everything's in it, or you can heat 
it up in the stove. But yeah, it's ready made. It's a quick lunch to go if you're really busy. That's perfect. And which uh, flavors do you guys uh, currently have? So like currently what we have beef nahari, which is like our, probably one of our most popular dishes in our restaurant. Uh -huh. And then we have butter chicken, which everyone knows. And then we have uh, goyla curry. It's like a charcoal infused um, curry. Nice. And then we have mughalai chicken handi, which is like a yogurt based white sauce curry. That's great. Yeah. So are there any other dishes that are going to be coming um, later soon on? Soon we're trying to come up with more vegetarian options. Mm -hmm. That would be yeah, cater to more vegans and they had a great service, extremely friendly staff and welcoming. Uh, the food was uh, hot as well as uh, prepared pretty quickly, so under 10 minutes from the time we ordered until they delivered it to our table, uh, which is extremely fast and the food was delicious. The lobby was uh, clean and well organized. As well, we got a chance to uh, take a look at the back area and the kitchen and that uh, kitchen was as well uh, clean and uh, well organized so we'd rate that 10 out of 10 as well we enjoyed uh, the food like i uh, mentioned earlier the food was hot it was really flavorful uh, i like actually the chickpeas it was the first time i tried it but it was really uh, creamy the pakoras were uh, crispy the dessert uh, was my favorite and so overall i had a great experience i would give uh, the quality of their food 10 out of 10 and i recommend you uh, check them out as well if you like this video please make sure to give it uh, a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for hit that subscribe button thank you